Dogecoin is a popular cryptocurrency, thanks to a good branding and also few tweets from Elon Musk. It's not as popular as Bitcoin, obviously, but still seems serious enough to try to mine a few coins. In this video, I'll show you how to do this easily, on a Raspberry Pi or any computer. Go to dogecoin.com and pick one method to create your wallet. I did it on my Windows computer, but I'm not sure if it's really the best way. The app is heavy, and it took all day to synchronize everything. I'm pretty sure you'll get an address faster by installing the app on your phone. Anyway, if you install it on your computer, we only need to create an address. Click on Much Receive and generate a new address that we'll use later in the miner. The miner I chose only work on 64 bits operating system, so you need to have one installed before anything else. If you want to keep things easy, you can use Ubuntu Server 64 bits from Raspberry Pi Imager. Another solution is to download the beta version of Raspberry Pi OS 64 bits from the URL I give you in the description. You don't need an interface, we need to keep all the resources for the miner. Flash the image with either Belena Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager, as usual. Once done, I recommend enabling SSH and do the system updates before anything else. I will give you several commands, it will be easier to copy and paste them from your computer. The miner I'm using is XMRig. There are binaries available for computers, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. But on Raspberry Pi, we'll clone the source code and compile it. It's not complicated. They have a tutorial for Ubuntu, I'm just following it on my Raspberry Pi. You can find all the commands in the description, so you can just copy them. A mining pool is a group of miners who share their computer resources. This way, there is a higher chance to find a block, and so to be rewarded. There are many options available. I'm not an expert, but I have found that it's often the same ones that are recommended. I decided to use Unminable for this video because you don't need an account but don't hesitate to use another one if you want. Unminable will give you a server address, a port and the format to use in the user field. As we already have our doge address, that's all we need to start the configuration. It's possible to use XMRig with all the options in one command line. But the most convenient method is to create a configuration file with everything in it. You can download a template directly from the XMRig GitHub project. Open it with nano and find the pools section. Fill the URL and user fields with the information given by Unminable. There is no GPU on Raspberry Pi, so we'll use the CPU server, RandomX. The user field starts with Doge. Then you add the address you got in step 1. And finally, a random name for your worker. If you configure several Raspberry Pi, you'll need to set a different name each time. Now that everything is set up, you just need to run the XMRig script to start the mining process. You should instantly start to receive jobs. The mining speed will be displayed regularly too. Also, you can use the tool on the Unminable website to check your progress in real time from your computer. After a few minutes, it will show all your miners, their speed history and how many Doge coins you got. As I told you at the beginning, don't expect to become rich with this. With this speed, you'll get about 1 Doge coin each month, which is around 15 cents at the time I'm recording this. Unminable don't allow any payout before 30 Doge coins, so you'll need a few years to get anything. Anyway, that's a great way to learn more about cryptocurrencies. And you can absolutely do the same thing on your computer if you want to get better results. Also, I didn't optimize anything on my Raspberry Pi, with a bit of overclocking and a better cooling system, the results should be slightly better than that. 
You can also use the same setup to mine other cryptocurrencies. Tell me in the comments if you find better options and optimizations, I'm sure some of you will find improvements. I also have another video where I explain how to mine Monero on a Raspberry Pi. I used an entirely different system, so you might be interested in it too.